There are no signs of dark lights anywhere. I don't have a bit about this, Commander. That thing is definitely not human in origin. Hello commanders and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Meet my Crimson Interceptor. That's why it has this kind of uh, basic paint. It's the Crimson paint. Comes from the name. Look at that. Crimson Interceptor. And this is not about this ship. No, 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 no. This is about finding Targoids and kicking their bum holes. So, I haven't fought the Darkoids before, I don't know what to expect, but this ship uh, should be capable of destroying uh, any kind of Targoid ships with ease. Let's take a look at the gear, what I have in here. I'm gonna just uh, look at the modules in here. So, I have uh, Guardian Shard Cannons. Whoops, uh, excuse me. There we go. First of all, I have uh, Thrusters. Yes, every ship has them. <laughs> Uh, prismatic shield generator. I've had this for a long time. It's the one you can get from the power play if you complete some missions and stuff. So, I have three large uh, shard cannons. Then I have uh, four shield boosters, as you can see. They're all modified. Then I also have Guardian hybrid uh, power distributor. Guardian shard cannon. Why don't I have a number two? I'm not entirely sure in here. I think Mamba doesn't have a slot for it. Anyway, other two modules I have. Oh yeah, this is very important. Shut down uh, field neutralizer. Otherwise they're gonna shut your systems down and then blow you to pieces. Guardian hybrid uh, power plant. Uh, corrosion resistant cargo rack. This is to collect the stuff from there. And then we also have these two modules. Guardian shield reinforcement package and Guardian hull reinforcement package. So my carrier is jumping right now. I believe it's jumping into... Um, yeah, the Kayat, the Sayat, the Sayat, whatever, how you call it. There was supposed to be some kind of uh, target activity, so I'm gonna check it out. Well, the first thing I noticed in this system is uh, Aquarius class tanker, and it says uh, it has been involved with uh, Xeno forces, so I'm gonna just uh, go and check that out. What's happening in there? Let's go, guys. Almost there. Let's see if there is anything worth checking out. No idea what to expect. Structure... What? Structure detected. Use data sca uh, link scanner to search for targets. Not sure what I'm doing in here. What is all that? Cargo bay, cargo bay, cargo bay. Let me just check in the contacts. Automated defense, turret, escape hatch, ship, log, uplink. What's that? Can I scan that? Okay, I don't think there are any aliens in here, but it's just worth showing you the view of this. Let's show you from outside. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at the shard cannons. Mmm, that looks beautiful. Uh, is it even the Targoid coup? Can I go into it or not? I don't know, guys. I'll try. I can fly out of it very fast. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it's damaging me. So what I'm supposed to do in here? I don't think there is anything in here. Alright. I'm gonna go look for a new one then. Well, I found another ship that has been destroyed by Darkoids, or at least attacked by it, but... Um, 
there are no signs of Targoids anywhere, so I think they've uh, scatoodled from here. I'm gonna have to find a new system. Well, guys, I think I found something. This is definitely uh, something. There's threat level 5, a non-human signal source, so... Let's check it out. Whoa, there's some goo. Okay, that's, that's a Targoid. What's it doing? I'm not sure what it's doing right now. Wait, is it just going away? Is it? What's it doing? I'm not sure what it's doing right now. It didn't even want me, huh? I thought Targoids are always uh, hostile. It's just scanning the ships. Should I just attack it? It's 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 the first time, okay? I'm just being careful. That's what she said. <laughs> it's like a mushroom. I just want to attack it, really. I'll just attack it then. Oh, it, it went away, what? What just happened? I'm not sure what happened. It just uh, went away here. Targoid swarm. Ooh, I love the sound of these things. They're just blowing up, look at that. Yeah, they just blew up. So much of that. So there's a threat level 6. I think the last one was uh, number 5 that I checked. So let's check out this one then. Speed up a little bit and in we go. What the heck? What? What just hit me? Powered engines. Whoa, whoops, wrong button. No. Bloody hell. What was that? That's not what I'm even uh, want right now. What are these things? Marauder var variant. What? Really? Where's my weapons? Oh shit. Okay, I don't wanna fight these because these are not even uh, what I needed. So there's another threat 5. I hope that this is the um, mushroom thing. The Targoid mushroom or whatever it is, the Medusa type thing. The one I saw and chick uh, the one that chickened out on me, so... Oh no. Not again. Not... Not these things, no. Well, I found the right place, I think. This time I'm gonna shoot it. If it scans me, then I'm gonna just... Yeah, it's scanning, I think, isn't it? Well, I can scan it too, so... Scanning something else, that's my uh, chance in here to attack it. Alright, I'm gonna do it. It's regenerate, damn. Oh shit, 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 that's, that actually hurts, man. Oh my 
Oh god, that actually does hurt. Oh shit, it's the swarm thing that is attacking me. Holy ouch, man. Well, I guess I wasn't ready for it after all. Yeah, it's the swarm that is uh, chasing me. Difficult. It's it's hundred percent thing, and it regenerates, man. I don't think I can even attack that thing. Holy wow, man! I don't know how much. Yeah, it regenerates. Look, I can't even damage it. What am I doing wrong in here? That thing looks like it's damaged, but... Uh. I'm not sure how to fight this thing. My hull is going down like crazy right now. Ah. Power engines. Yeah, I wasn't ready for this. I didn't know that it doesn't take damage. Look at my shields and stuff. Yeah, I need to uh, rethink this. And it keeps regenerating. Okay, let's see if I can do that. Turn around and shoot it in the face. My shields can't take that much, much more of this. Oh, yeah. The, the bl bloody thing has more range than I do, so... And yeah, that that yeah that that target ship can hold itself target exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my shields in a second. Yep, power engines. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bail on this one, unfortunately. I don't. I'll just show you that this is actually green goo on my ship. See that acid stuff, and that's what's eating through the hull. I can't show it for uh, too long because, uh, as you can see, I'm already in 30%, and it's just eating through like crazy, man. This is so, so much from the aliens movie. Yeah, look at that. I have to repair for uh, 40,000 now. Damn. Finally, after about one year, I'm back. This time I'm using the Krite Mark II. The reason why it took me so long to get around to it is not because uh, I was afraid of Targoids or anything, but uh, I just had other stuff to do. Then the Odyssey came out and then I started upgrading the suits and stuff and everything, so I kind of put it on hold. But now I'm back with pack up, so we're gonna go and pack ourselves at Darkoid Interceptor. And 3, 2, 1. Oh 
Okay, I think there's something here. Or is it? Yep, there's something here, definitely. I'm coming. Welcome, Let's deploy the spider. It's behind me this time, why? It's scanning me right now. Okay, I got it locked. Tell me when you're ready. Ready? Where are you? Okay, there you are. I don't know what it's doing. It's just standing here right now. Not doing anything. I don't feel good about this, Commander. That thing is definitely not human in origin. Okay, let's go. It's, it's angry at me now. Oh shit, you flew into it. It's running, get ready, it might shoot something. I'm gonna uh, shoot another fighter now. Is it on me now? I think it's chasing, no it's not chasing me. Okay, my fighter is coming. Coming back. Okay, if it starts uh, killing you, just uh, run away. I have the fucking swarm on me, so you're lucky. It might actually shoot something again. My other fighter is going out. It's fucking caustic missile at me. Oh, it missed! It's almost dead. Come on, we can do it, man. Field! Shit! It shut me down, it shut me down. It shut me down too, I was too late. Fuck! But it's going away. I think it's running. I think that's why it did it. Okay, I'm gonna first unload on it fully. <clears throat> and then if we get one off, then we fly away. Fighter ready. What's going on? It's still scanning me. Hello? Can you hear me? Why are you asking me what's going on? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I, I just want to check. I think my internet is fucked again. That's why I'm asking if you can hear me. It's just standing there. Should just attack it. Let's attack it. Fuck it. Let's do it. My remote flag is on the wrong button. What is this? 
Why does it do that? Why does it go there? Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I know where you are right now. Oh, mate, I fucked up so bad right now. My controls went to Kukulala in here. Keep up, keep up. Where are you going? What do you mean where I'm going? I'm following you. Ah, oh, shit, they're shooting at me now. Oh, shit. Don't ram it. There we go, I got one off. Run. I took some heat damage, so it's okay. I'm going full speed right now. Okay, my fighter got destroyed. I don't know where the horde is. Oh, that's uh, some missile. I don't know what it's chasing right now, where it's going. Where is it going? You need to tell me where the swarm is. I, I don't know if it's chasing you, if it's chasing me, what's it doing? Swarm is chasing me. Okay, come towards me then. It's all chasing you. I'm trying. Okay, I'm gonna send my other fighter out then. I don't know what these retarded markers are. Okay, I think I found the swarm. Okay, okay, okay. Come towards me. Flip yourself around with the uh, thing. Flight assist. I think I got the swarm, did I? Oh shit, what is this? Suicidal swarm. Okay, I got the swarm. Swarm is out, swarm is out. Okay. Remember, now it's gonna use the... Um... No, it's not out. What the fuck? I didn't get it. It's a new swarm, I think. It's almost dead, I think. Not too early. It has like two or three of them in there, the swarm. Okay, now I need to deal with the fucking target. It's almost done with that thing. I have to be careful with the heat though, I don't have heat sinks in this one. C catch up, catch up, don't, um, don't stay there, back there. I have to turn around to kill it. Ah shit, you're so far away now. Okay, I need to, ah, I need to come back, shit. I don't know if the swarm is dead or not though. I think it is. One more wing is out. Okay, run, then it's gonna do the fucking thing, the... The... yeah, that, you know what. I just used my neutral field. Did it uh, use it? I mean, did he I, use it? I don't know, I used mine, so... Okay, so it's three wings down, then it's one more to go. Yeah. Okay, uh, catch up if you can. Yes, I'm right behind you. Is there another swarm? I don't see it. Yeah, there is. There is another swarm. I'll try to lock it. Okay, I got it locked. Okay, my uh, fighter is gone. That's fine. The swarm is coming to me. Let's get this shit. Coming 
really fast, holy shit. Okay, it's once me, man. Cover that. The swarm is down. The swarm is down. Copy that. Gonna launch another fighter. If you get with me, that would be good. Try it. Okay, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Just uh, stay away from it. I'm gonna try to blo uh, get close and uh, unload my uh, shark cannons on it. It's almost damaged. I mean, dead. Yeah, it's fine, but I'm almost dead too. Right, turn it around. It's almost done. It's almost fucking done. There we go. It's, it's uh, one big down. I think next time it's gonna blow up. I don't know what it's doing. Just run away if you have to. Run away, run away. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. It didn't put another swarm out though. I'm coming back then, okay. Ah oh, shit, the caustic missile, fuck that. Oh shit. You gotta blow up! I fucking got it! Good job. Good job. Fuck yeah. Wait, you blew up? You did it? That was a tough motherfucker, but tactics works, man. Tactics absolutely works. Yeah. so tough anymore, eh? Look at that. Ship all banged out, man. All the tentacles are busted up. Well, my ship is also battle scarred. I can see all the shit all over my ship, man. It puked on my ship. <laughs> so, as you saw, it's not that difficult if you know the tactics and I'm gonna just explain this throughout uh, what you need, what you need to know and how to fight this damn interceptor. So first of all let's go through the ships. Obviously I don't have all the ships in here but uh, you don't really have many choices at all. A lot of people have recommended Kright Mark II and rightfully so. And there are a couple of reasons why this ship is uh, better than anything else. And I will explain it in a second, but uh, let's see some other choices. Some of the um, Alliance Chieftain and what was the other one? The Alliance uh, Challenger and there was another one. They might also work, but the hard points are not that best, you know. This one has only two large, uh, one medium and then uh, three small ones. Not exactly what you would want. You will definitely want to have uh, two large ones and two medium ones. Uh, Python might actually work, but I think it will be too slow. I mean, it's, it might work. Python, you could try. Uh, federal Assault Ship, that might also work. Or some other uh, Federal, what is it, uh, Gunship and the Drop Ship, they might also work. I don't have them at the moment. Uh, this is what I tried at first. But the reason why I didn't go with this one, even though it would work, it's a lot more agile and faster than the Kright Mark II. But what I wanted to get to is that the Kright Mark II can take a fighter hangar. 
A lot of people probably think that's just a waste, but trust me, it is not. And the reason for that is because it can be a perfect distraction for the Targoid. If you need to like run or something, you just send the fighter, attack it, and then the Targoid has two uh, options. It can either uh, turn on your fighter, which gives you some breathing room, or it can ignore it and keep taking the damage. So, few words about the loadout. At first, I didn't think that the remote release flak launcher is that useful, but it can take out the swarm of the interceptors really well. And what a lot of people don't know is that you can have only four experimental or the axe weapons. Axe is the anti xena weapons. But the remote release flak launcher doesn't count towards the experimental. That's why I have five weapons total. A lot of people saying Coarse Cannon is the best, but it overheats really fast. And if you're making a small mistake or something and you don't hit all your shots, you're gonna waste the heat sinks and then you're out of, uh, you know, everything. Then you need to run. The short cannons, they do insane amount of damage. I tried with four of them, uh, three large ones and then uh, one uh, small one, the medium one. And I can instantly take out one of those hearts on the interceptor. It doesn't even have time to react, I just shoot one out straight out with them. So they are very powerful, but unfortunately the range is quite low. And also the thermal, uh, what is it, the thermal load is only 2.2 on them. And look at the thermal load on the course um, cannons, 25. Distributor throw is only 1.4, but look at this one, 7.2. So that's why the short cannons are really effective because you, j you can just keep spamming them and they do decent damage if you get close but then again the Targoid does also a lot of damage if you get close so that's why I went with a combo. So the idea is I'm gonna use the short cannons, I'm gonna whack it down and when it starts running the Targoid ship is gonna go and repair then I can use the coarse cannons to make precision shots and take out the heart with it. Uh, point defense, very useful actually, I didn't know that, but it can help uh, destroy all the caustic missiles and stuff it throws at you, so it does help. Uh, shield boosters, since the Targoids, they ignore all kinds of resistance, that's why you don't need the uh, kinetic thermal and explosive resistance. The best way is to go for brute force. These are the core modules, military grade uh, composite, uh, heavy duty armor, grade 5, I don't have the experimental because I wasn't in the engineers myself, I had to do it remotely. Guardian Hybrid uh, power plant, you could go maybe with no, because look at the power consumption, it's almost on the level. I mean during the fight, yeah, you could disable some stuff, but um, I would just prefer this one. So, thrusters, naturally, the best ones ever, and I have clean drive tuning because it... Um, reduces the thermal load. Where is it? Thermal load. See? It goes down by 60%. That's very important when you're fighting. So that's why I went with clean drive tuning. It also increases the optimal multiplier which increases your top speed a little bit. I think before I had uh, 440 something. Ah, uh, who cares? Just go with this one because uh, thermal load is pretty important. Well, the frame shift drive you would need a good one if uh, you don't have a carrier. I'm using carrier, I don't fly with this ship at all. I'm just putting it on a carrier and that's it. But it still has about 25 uh, light years, something like this, 24, 25, so it's not too bad, you know. Uh, life support is very important, actually. I had, uh, let's try to replace it. I had this one before for the, you know, the mass, but that only has like seven minutes or something. And I keep losing my windshield. I tried to uh, fight it solo. I tried a couple of times. And it just breaks my windshield and I don't have enough time. I don't actually you know, run out of the hull or anything. I can destroy it. But this one has 25 minutes. That's more than enough. A Guardian Hybrid Power Distributor. I also like it. Very important. I mean you can modify one if you don't want this. But I think the Guardian one is better. It's just overall you know best. Sensors, not important. Fuel tank, not important. And then we are in the optional internal compartments. That's where I have the fighter hangar. And the fighters, one of them is a Guardian fighter and the other one is the Titan fighter. 
I forgot they are also coming with uh, AX weapons, anti Sino weapons, so use this one. And I have to mention, this one is actually better than the Guardian Fighter. At least the AI plays it li like a numb nut, so yeah, that's, that's why I have these two. So, back to the modules. You could probably put six, um, six Pi Weave shield generator. I have my prismatic one from the really, really, really long ago when I did the uh, power play and stuff. That's where you get the prismatic one if you're wondering. It is incredible against other ships because the shield health is just insane. But once it gets broken, then that's it. It's gonna take you like 10 minutes to get it back up, so it's not worth it, you know. I should probably replace this with a 6 pi weave generator because against the Targoids the most important thing is the hull reinforcement. Like trust me, the hull is far more important than the shields. And that's why I also replaced out all the shield uh, reinforcements with uh, Guardian hull reinforcement packages. This is very important and the corrosion cargo rack. I probably don't need 4E but Okay, well, that's not gonna really save you. Decontamination limpet controller, very important to have, because this is gonna neutralize the caustic damage to your hull. Uh, planetary approach shoot, can't really replace it with anything else. So, that's my loadout. You could probably optimize it, I mean, there is this and that, you know. I did kill one of the um, interceptors with just the shard cannons, I did it solo, but then I somehow got stuck in that uh, explosion field and then I died too, so. And finally, a few words about the tactics and how the Targoids fight, specifically the interceptors, the Cyclopes. I haven't gone anything uh, higher than that for now, I just wanted to start with that and see how it's gonna, you know, turn out so. It's not that difficult, it's like any other boss fight, you know, in any other game. They are pretty predictable, you know, they do certain things at a certain time. So, first of all, the interceptors, they are not hostile unless they are surrounded by the scouts, then they can attack you. But if you're going into a threat level 5, which is just the interceptor, the cyclops, like you saw, then they are first com coming to scan you, so don't panic, just let them scan you, when you're comfortable, unload on them. Try to take out one of those uh, wing things, which is a heart, and then you're gonna boost away, because then it's gonna send the swarm after you, then you're gonna put some distance between you and the targoid. And once you're about, I don't know, a couple of kilometers away, I would say five at least, four, five, then you're gonna turn your flight assist off, then you're gonna just flip your ship around, turn towards them, then you're gonna just hang there, put your thrusters backwards, I mean if your flight assist is off, you can just hover there anyway, then you're gonna target the swarm, you use the flak cannon, take the swarm out, and then you just have the interceptor to worry about. But, as soon as you're gonna shoot off another heart, or this wing thing, then after that you're gonna have to do the same thing again. You boost away, it's gonna spawn another swarm, you take it out, and after the third heart, it's gonna deploy the shutdown EMP. And the reason why I don't have it on my ship is because it's actually very easy to escape. As soon as you take out the third heart, you boost away as fast as you pos uh, can, and as far as possible, and you're gonna turn the flight assist off, very important, even if it's gonna get you with a shutdown thing, you're gonna still float away because your flight assist is off. And that just gives you enough time to put the ship back up and you're gonna get back into the fight before it even uh, damages you. So that's how you can get away from that. And then the fourth time it's coming back, the fourth heart dies, the interceptor dies. Boom. In theory, very easy. But as you saw, it's not that, you know, easy in practice, but uh, this is my Targoid fighting episode number one. And I am absolutely sure I will do more Targoid fighting. But that's it for now. I hope to see you out there, commanders.